a safety short from the ATA Workers' Compensation Fund. Fifth wheel release, save your back and shoulder. Hi, this is Michael Smith with the ATA Work Comp Fund. We're here today at Wright Transportation in Mobile, Alabama. We're going to be talking about properly pulling a fifth wheel pin by using a standard fifth wheel pin puller or a yanker tool like I've got right here. We've seen a dramatic decrease in work comp claims and work comp injuries to the shoulders and the back area uh, since we began recommending fifth wheel pin pullers to our fund members over three years ago. It takes all the stress off of your shoulder and off of your back just by using a simple safety tool like this right here. Uh, we're going to have a right transportation driver demonstrate how to properly use a fifth wheel pin puller to release the pin off your tractor. My name is Mike Love. I work for Wright Transportation. I've been driving for 40 years. Going to demonstrate an easier and safer way to pull your king pin now. The old way we used to have to do, reach under there, grab it, and hope you get it right the first time. You get nasty, you get greasy. If it's raining, you're going to get in a hurry. You're going to hurt your shoulder. You could hurt your back. Pin puller. It makes things a lot easier and a lot safer, especially for older gentlemen like me. You put it under here on the frame, you pull up, and you pull back. Use two hands. It's safer that way. In case one hand slips, you still got a hold of it, and you can't fall and get hurt. Okay, we're going to show you the old school way of doing it. It's been a few years since I've done that. I'm going to try and do it barehanded. Sometimes it would come easy, sometimes it wouldn't. You just said you have to fight it. Sometimes your shoulder, your back, you're all out of whack, and you could get hurt real easily. Okay, we're going to demonstrate a new and better way to do this with a new pin puller. You're not bent over, you're not out of whack. Put it under there. And just pull back with your weight. Let it do all the work for you. That way, you're not going to get hurt. Pulling the fifth wheel release pin without the assistance of a pin release tool is a potential source for injury to the rotator cuff. The driver needs to bend forward at the waist and fully extend and elevate the arm to grasp the handle. In this position, the hand is pronated, causing the upper arm to internally rotate. It increases the shoulder and trunk angle and places a greater strain on the rotator cuff. What should be a simple task, if done incorrectly, can be like having a 125 pound person standing on the shoulder or extending your arms straight out and holding a 50 pound sack of potatoes. It increases your chances of injury. It's uncomfortable and it's messy with a chance of getting oil or dirt all over your shirt. It's not the way you want to start or end your day on the road. A fifth wheel pin puller shifts the force required to pull the handle to the bicep, rear deltoid, and middle trapezoid. The driver grasps the handle in a natural position and prevents the upper arm from internally rotating during the task. The pin puller decreases the initial shoulder angle and the bicep becomes the primary muscle to carry the force. By reducing the elevation and internal rotation of the upper arm, the fifth wheel release tool significantly reduces the forces across the shoulders and rotator cuff. In essence, we're shifting the task to the power zone, close to the body, between mid-thigh and mid-chest. It's similar to the strike zone in baseball. This is the zone where arms and back can lift the most with the least amount of effort. A simple safety tool, the fifth wheel pin puller, makes the job easier, safer, and a lot cleaner. It's a much better way to start or end your day on the road.